Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Bet you know what I'm gonna say. That's right, I have not given up on the Amato yet. <laughs> I think that if I was to get a call from one of the hobby stores here in, in Winnipeg, and the two main ones, I, they, they know that I've inquired about it. They, they know that I've, I'm interested in it. And if I was to get a call from one of them and it was to say, hey, we finally got a distributor here in Canada for that, for that uh, kit. I'd say how much, and if it was reasonable, I'd probably say bring it in. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we've had this discussion before. I don't know why it is that uh, there is no distributor here in Canada for that particular kit. Uh, yeah, okay, enough about the Amato. We're doing the submarine, and uh, we're on step 24. And I was just looking at it here this morning, and I think the only thing we got to do, besides, you know, repaint that spot where the, where the, uh, square. <laughs> Actually, the, you know, the paint is still on the square. I gotta get that off. Okay, uh, yeah, where the, where the square uh, made a mess of my paint over here. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we gotta touch that up. And, uh, but actually, uh, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I, I really believe all we got to do is, is, uh, is put these two pieces, you know, this one's going to go here and, and this big one's going to go across the back and then we're done step 24. Yeah. Uh, so let's, why don't we just do that? Uh, Oh, the, the the sunrise this morning, I didn't actually see it happen, so I don't know what it was like, but I got a feeling by the way the sky is right now, it was probably another clear, uneventful one. So uh, we'll see what happens. I might stick it at the end of the video. I might not. Uh, yeah, it's still early in the day. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. So uh, let's, let's recompose and see if we can uh, uh, get these... Uh, these parts to, to fit in place here. The, uh, I have, like I say, I haven't tried them yet, so I'm, I'm just hoping that where the uh, little uh, pegs on the bottom go into the slots, it, it's going to all line up. I think it will. I think it will. Trumpet is pretty good. Um, the, the problem is me. Sometimes I don't glue stuff in the right place. Like when we were doing the torpedoes, I, uh, some of the stuff didn't line up properly because I didn't glue it in the right place. Uh, like the, the torpedo room and the, the other module. Anyway, uh, then we can flip the page and uh, see what there is to do there. Uh, we, we do have a few pieces that are already, or at least one piece that is already already made up. I got a feeling we're going to need it on step 25. Enough talk. Let's, let's recompose and uh, put this stuff down. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah? Well, we'll see. Now, when I was painting these parts, I was using these lugs on the bottom to hold onto with, uh, I believe it was uh, Chris's alligator clips. So I am I know that they're not gonna be t too covered up with paint, but it could be that the slots that we are going to put these 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 in might have paint in them, and there's there's four here there's four on this each piece. Oh no, the other piece only has three. Okay, well here we go for the first time. We're going to be able to get this to line up. I think I am going to have to twist this around out of your field of view here a bit so I can see what's going on. That's kind of hard. Got to be careful where I hang on to it because I don't want to be breaking my railings off. Hey, I got it right this time. Uh, 
just a bit of a tight fit. I'm going to have to take this off camera so I can see what's going on there. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this off camera. Sorry about that. Okay, I've got a problem here. Actually, I think I've got two problems. Um, if I get these positioning pegs in the slots, okay, then yes, this one here on the end lines up with this one. However, the center one is approximately a millimeter too much that way. And uh, now I'm wondering if I was to just cut this peg off, then, then everything's going to fit. What happens now is that if I try to pry this partition over, the uh, railings actually buckle. Okay. So uh, yeah, I can get I can get these two in, and or I can get this one in, but I can't get at the same time because this one won't go in, won't go down. Now the the other problem I've got is, remember I drilled a couple of extra holes for lights so that when when this whole thing comes over like this, the the radio rooms are going to be illuminated a little better. Well. I'm thinking now that perhaps I had this thing the wrong way around. And I should have had it like this. And those two, and these two little holes here should have actually been here and here. Um, but I'm pretty sure now that, that that's what's happened. And the reason being is that because you can see if you look on the back of this thing, on the top of this thing, the, the place to run the wires is, is here, along here on the back, where, where it naturally would be. Like, like this is going to be the front. And, uh, okay, uh, okay, I'm just going to have to think about this for a bit here. Okay, I have opted to cut the, uh, peg off of the bottom of this this center one because it was it was just I was just going to have to move it too much to get it to line up and I I do believe that we are still going to be able to get it to to line up with with the with the, the place here that it has to go at least I'm hoping um, I think I can recall somebody mentioning that what they would have done, and I can't remember how they worded it, um, but they would have placed these in the deck while this whole thing was, this this module here was being, this, this part rather, was being put together. And that way you would be uh, assured of having everything lining up. Um, I think it was uh, maybe, was, was it you, uh, Mark? In Australia, Aussie Frenchman, I think it was you that mentioned that. And I'm kind of thinking now that, uh, yeah, that's that's probably what I should have been done. Anyway, this is uh, garbage now. Okay, let's let, uh, let this dry where I have uh, glued the, the doorway onto this part here. Now, another thought that I just had. When I was trying to... Uh, make these uh, these tabs a little bit uh, more, you might say, pointy, so that they'll go into the slots better. I was thinking that uh, another thing a person could have done is, before you even glued this, this piece up, take these tabs and, and uh, shape them the way you want, the way you think you, you know, get them, in other words, a little bit wedge-shaped, so that they will slide in. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so we'll, we'll see. This one, this one might go really easy, but on the other hand, it might not. So let's let's just see here. Now, it looks like my headphones are are binding on the desktop. 
I might have to do this one off camera too, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to be busting anything really fragile off here. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to do this one off camera. Okay, I eventually got it. I had to uh, trim off the tabs where they go into the holes. And I, once again, I softened the, the holes with, uh, with extra thin. I have managed to not break off the headset or, or microphone. Um, I think the next thing to do before we can turn the page, though, is I'm going to have to uh, touch up here. So let's get the paint and the brush going, and then I think we're ready to turn the page. Yeah. Here we go again. All right. Is she gonna turn up her nose at my dog cookie? Come on in, Missy. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. All right. Good morning, Uncle Ron. Good morning. The snow is going slowly. Well, at least it's going. Okay, now let's see what happens today. Well, I found out while she ate two biscuits yesterday, Rainy forgot to feed her breakfast. <laughs> so she only got fed once a day instead of twice. Well, she didn't spit it out. Okay, step 24 is finished. Now, if I have missed something, in the comments below, please. Step 25. Um, for step 25, I think we've got this piece made. And... Uh, Okay, here's, here it wants us to install the, the, the roof, but I, like uh, I was saying, I think I've got the holes drilled in the wrong place, so we're going to have to think about drilling holes somewhere else. Okay, uh, we'll worry about that when we get away over here. we got this to contend with. You know, I actually remember seeing this K13 on the sprue and wondering where it goes. So now I know. Okay, uh, let's see what, what we have to get. Well, for sure we have to get the K-13. Now I did get out on my e-bike yesterday, and I went south this time. And I tried to get some of the signs that uh, I'd missed the first time. Uh, yeah, there was a lot more signs than I thought there was. I don't know why I don't notice them when I'm going along. I guess it's because I'm sort of watching where I'm going. Um, I guess I'm not a reader either. <laughs> anyway, I did get out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six more pieces for step 25 and they're all on the L sprue and I was just looking at the L sprue a moment ago and that is all that is on it and they're all pretty big pieces so I think maybe what I could do here is uh, just nip them all off I don't need to don't need to be looking for numbers or anything just take everything can't go wrong right Now I don't want to be getting too exuberant here and maybe nip something off that I shouldn't. Is there anything at the other end that I can't see? Oh yeah, we got this one here. Okay, there's two. And uh Three, four, five and six. Okay, another sprue we can hang on the wall. Except I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, we got all the pieces, so I'm just going to trim them up and uh, see what we can do here. Mind you, it, it is getting on. Okay, you know you can't see the clock. I just glanced at it. It's 12.31 already in the afternoon, so... Uh, and the sun is shining bright. You know what that means, right? Okay, I do believe this little piece on the end here is supposed to come off, I think. I'm just going to take just, just just that little tiny... Yeah, it could be that that is supposed to be a positioning pin, but I'm not sure. We'll leave it on there and we'll take it off later if it isn't supposed to be. Th this thing is, is very flimsy. Very flimsy. I know I should have the macro lens on, right? Well, I had originally set up to uh, hang on to my Yamato coffee mug and say, we'll see you tomorrow. And then I picked this thing up and started looking at it, and the next thing I knew... We, we basically got it trimmed up here. The, these nippers cut so nice and close, you almost don't need to do any sanding. But I, th I think I will. Um, my sanding stick's getting worse and worse, isn't it? Um, however... The sun is shining bright, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, this is the weather I've been waiting for all winter long. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, first of all, the sun rises next. But it's almost identical to yesterday's. So if you don't want to watch it, I don't blame you. Uh, but I'm going to stick it on anyway. I checked it out on the surveillance system just uh, about an hour ago so uh yeah here we go again thanks for watching everybody and all being well we're gonna see you tomorrow okay we've got a problem and that is that uh I, and i don't know exactly what happened but uh i got an error message at the end of my uh video processing here and um we are not going to be having the sunrise uh, but trust me, the walkers did come by this morning. Uh, maybe tomorrow will go better. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. So I, I guess, uh, yeah. 
Don't know what to say. I, I'm not 100% sure what happened. Uh, and I don't have time to try and fix it now. I'm trying to get out on my bike. So, uh, oh my goodness. Sorry about this.